Airlines buying a 49% stake in Virgin Atlantic, looking to increase its exposure in the UK. Our Phil LeBeau joins us now with the CEO of Delta and a first on CNBC interview. Phil? Thank you very much, Carl. I am joined by Richard Anderson, the CEO of Delta. You've just announced the deal with Virgin Atlantic. This is all about the access to Europe and Heathrow, correct? It's really about the access to the UK-US marketplace. It's the, by far, by 200%, the largest market between Europe and the US. And Delta's had about an 8% market share, fifth place. And with this transaction, we get to second place with about a quarter of the market. A lot of people looked at Singapore Air when it had 49%, which is what you're buying, and they said Singapore Air never could really maximize the profit potential. What can you do that Singapore Air could not do? Is it about that access between New York and London? Yes, and it's about geography. Singapore is a long way away from London, and the traffic flows between Singapore and London are light, a couple hundred people a day between Singapore and London, whereas the traffic flows between the U.S. and U.K. for business travelers represent $2 billion in annual revenue, so it's massive, massively larger, and the geography is a lot closer. You're expecting approval perhaps by the middle of next year. Once that happens, when will you say, okay, let's modify some of the flight schedules in terms of there's 31 daily flights right now for Virgin Atlantic between Europe and the UK and, and North America. Will you modify those to, to maximize New York and London even more? Well, we will do, we will take steps once we have the appropriate government approval and we've had implementation of antitrust immunity. You would expect in the high season of 2014, when we have the ability to cooperate together, that we will begin to maximize the slot portfolio uh, Virgin Atlantic and the fantastic brand that Sir uh, Richard Branson has built uh, to leverage it even more to the U.S. I want to talk a little bit about Richard Branson. He made it very clear he's not going anywhere. The brand's not going anywhere. Willie Walsh has taken to making some disparaging remarks. And you said during the press conference, you're, you're not real keen on what he's been doing, correct? Well, I mean, I think that's been going on between B.A. and Virgin for a pretty long time. And, um, you know, Sir Richard Branson has built a phenomenal franchise. And the key value in the franchise is his leadership and the brand he's built. And that's core to what our investment is. We have to have him, the Virgin Group, and their great product and great employees to be successful in this joint venture. So he is key to the transaction. As you said up there, you don't know what the English term is for it, but you have a term in Texas for it. We do have a term in Texas for it, but uh, we're, uh, families watch the show. <laughs> One last question. You're growing your corporate business by about 10%. We talked to Ed Bastian earlier. That's phenomenal growth in this market. Are you seeing any slowdown at all in corporate demand for, for flights right now? Corporate demand is quite strong. You know, when we look at our surveys, so we base these on actual data, booking data, um, unit revenue data, forward looking, plus surveys we do with corporations, and the outlook in 2013 was quite strong. Richard Anderson. CEO of Delta on a big day as they buy a 49% stake in Virgin Atlantic. Guys, back to you. All right, Thanks, Phil, Phil, thank you so much for that.